Tony D and Little Joan, what screenwriters ran on Humane, uh, starring the kid from uh, How to Train Your Dragon and uh, The End. And uh, it's uh, a government dystopia run amok where they want you to uh, self delete. And it's from Shudder and IFC Films. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 13. Sorry, 14. God, I remember that. 14 is out. Uh, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, get this. The government tells everybody... 20% uh, of the population has to go. And uh, people are encouraged to enlist and, uh, you know, self-delete. So there's this family and uh, the, the how the train your dragon guy, I can't think of his name. He's in it. And uh, his parents have decided to, uh, you know, enlist. But the wife skips out <laughs> before it's time. And the father still, you know, takes, uh, takes himself out. And then they show up. They show up to do it. Like the government shows up to do it. But when there's only one body, uh, Bob, who represents the government's like, well, you're not going to like this, but we're here to get two bodies. So the rest of the family has to choose who who remaining will go. Um, so, wow. Wow. I don't know if this is spot on or not. It seems to be spot on. Of course, they end up trying to kill each other. And uh, Bob is just kind of, uh, calmly waiting for them to make a decision or, you know, someone's going to off. And then, of course, it ends up in the fighting and I think that it probably ends up, it might end up with Bob going out at the end. I don't know. Uh, it's called Humane. Uh, this movie has either 100% nailed the stuff that's going on in Canada right now and the climatards who have gone cuckoo bananas or, or it's laying the groundwork to do it. I can't decide which, but it looks pretty good, I got to say. Written and produced by Michael Sp Baraga, good for you, and directed by Caitlin Cronenberg. Is she one of the Cronenbergs? Like, one of the Cronenbergs? J, uh, Bar I can never pronounce his name. J, J is his name. Barusol. Barusol? He was in uh, This Is The End and How To Train Your Dragon, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, who else do I recognize in this who's in it? Peter Gallagher. Yeah, Peter Gallagher, who checks out probably in the first act. Um, and that's about it. But it looks great. Man. Uh, or, or it's a part of the dystopia that we will soon be a part of. Uh, it, either this is an awesome movie or it's reality in 10 years. <laughs> so uh, I can't decide which. Maybe that's why it, it looks like such a great movie. Here's Jay. Jay getting a bit of a receding hairline going. And Jay's like, I think, part of the, the group who's very much in favor of the uh, the 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 um, elimination of a fifth of the population. Uh, but it's all climate-based, so and you can see, here they are collecting people. It's very creepy. Uh, really hits, hits the mark. Whoa! And it tears the family apart. So, uh, would I watch this? I feel like I almost have to, to find out, to find out if this is either an awesome movie or it's laying the groundwork to say, hey, you should probably do this. I, I can't decide which. I'm leaning towards it's an awesome movie that's a good satire, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of an optimist, so. Especially when it comes to cinema. So, uh, huh. Very interesting. It's called Humane. And that title, man, nails it. Oh, that title totally effing nails the satire. So, first act, they establish this crazy world of run by the climatards. 
and they they need 20% of people gone. I have to be careful what I say on YouTube, unfortunately. Um, second act, the parents of Jay, Peter Gallagher, and his wife have decided to enlist and do that, weirdly enough. Uh, but then the wife bolts on, like, the day before. So... The family's dealing with that, and then Bob and the government shows up to collect two bodies, and uh, there's only Peter Gallagher who still goes. I don't, I don't know why you would still go, but apparently there's no turning back once you pull the trigger. Uh, so he goes, and uh, now they say, "Well, we can't leave until we have another body." <laughs> And so most of the second act are, are, you know, are this these characters going back and forth about who should go. Who should go. Now, I guess they, uh, the youngest, who I think is uh, fourth from the left, she probably is instantly disqualified because she's the youngest, right? And it's the uh, other siblings, I think, that uh, have to make up their mind who's, Who's going to go? And of course, none of them want to volunteer. So they tear each other apart. And Bob's been through this before. So, but who wins at the end? I don't know, man. That could be anybody. Could be anybody. Or maybe they all kill each other. And that's, you know, part of it. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is going to end very darkly. I think no matter what happens, they get a body at the end. Maybe several and maybe Bob gets promoted because he allows them to kind of off each other. So maybe like all four of them die at the end. Um, so yeah, humane. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm going to have to look for this one. Good for you. Uh, oh, let's read, uh, Read the write-up. In the wake of environmental collapse that is forcing humanity to shed 20% of the of its population, a family dinner erupts in the chaos when a father's plan to enlist in the government's new euthanasia program goes horribly awry. Wow. Wow. I don't know. You tell me. I, I think it's a good movie. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's both a good movie and a satire on the subject, while at the same time kind of like putting that seed into your brain, like, well, we might have to do this. I mean, Canada already is doing it, I think. Yeah, Canucks, what the F is going on with you? I know they're trying to push that here, too. I'm against it. I'm against it. I, uh, I'm i going to go down swinging. Swinging in my hospital bed, going, no! I'm an old man. Leave me alone. I'm just an old piney. Um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe by that time I'll have a little robot to help me. Um, so, yes. Humane from Shudder and IFC Films. This, this, could be a, this could be a breakout. I mean, it really kind of hit a nerve with me. I don't know about you. Watch the trailer. Very, I'm going to give it an upvote. Look at that. Rare upvote from me. All right, that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out at Odyssey, Bitchute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. Book 14 of the Pineys is available at Amazon.com. Here you go. Take a quick peek and go check it out. It's all about pirates. Yar. All right, we'll see you in the next one.